Wow, what a beauty. I mean, I've crafted these before, but every time I craft them, I'm just left, like, without breath. Welcome gamers back to another Arc Survival video. My name's Sub the Gamer and I'm here on Gaming Evolved. Now this is the server that's Dreyarch, Crumble, um, BMAX, and some other YouTubers have been playing on. Uh, of course me as well. And yeah, I've been playing on the server for the entire season two, and today I've decided to do a solo video. Now I'm here on Gash, my uh, my Quetzal. Now you might think that this is a completely different Quetzal from the time I tamed a Quetzal. And that is correct. Um, that Quetzal actually died from a Giga that was roaming around here. Now, this is my base. Now, uh, this Crumble's base right next to mine. Uh, he has some dinos as well, but this is mine. Uh, so I've got Gash, my Quetzal, uh, Mammoth, my Mammoth, Stego, my Stego. <laughs> um, I've got uh, Gath uh, Gather, um, my Trike, um, uh, Night Knight, my Scorpion. Spike uh, for my Ankleo, and then of course inside the smaller area, I've got Death Divine, my new Argentavis, Pooper Duper, uh, kind of play on um, Pooper Duper from Jack, Jack uh Cooked Meat here, my Dillo, um, number one, my uh, Dodo, and of course in here is my base, uh, as well as. Um, uh, Night Stalker. Now this is my, um, my doe, uh, what's, what, what are you? What type of animal are you? No idea. But, it's a, I, I love this, I tamed this, she was stuck in my base, so I tamed it, and she looks awesome, super, super cool. So I called her, uh, Night Stalker, because it was during the night when I found it when I found her so we'll take her along in this episode and in this episode gamers I was thinking about uh, expanding my base um, now I had specifically asked all the other youtubers not to show my base until I've shown it the reason for that simple I want to show you guys what I've been working on uh, off camera um, so then you guys can more or less know what uh, you know what 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 is there to be expected um also one thing gamers you uh part two of the quest for speedy will be coming out when i come back uh, after christmas so yeah you're gonna have to stay tuned for a little bit for that so let's just get some wood uh because i'm i'm, I'm gonna actually continue building my base uh, out of wood uh, and maybe later on i will upgrade into stone but for now we'll just go into wood so let's uh, sort by weight, actually. Uh, actually, alphabetical, that's better. Let's grab my thatch. Um, this guy does not ca gather fiber, does he? No, I don't think so. Yes, he does not. So I've got a lot of wood, which is nice. And what I, and what I was planning to do is make myself a pen. So it's, it will take some time, uh, but hopefully by this end of the video, I'll have most of the pen finished. Uh, but we shall see. Now let's get some fiber, so that's qu since that's quite important. Fiber, fiber. Oh, is my Quetzal still following me? I heard a whooshing sound. No, he just landed. I think. Right. Now let's get some wood. So I've kind of started already, and I should have done this on camera, but um, yeah, I was, when I was taming my mammoth, I tamed my mammoth right there, and I had to log off. So just to protect it a little bit, just in case you know a dire wolf or something came. I had some dinos around it, it was quite funny actually, um, and I just set it up this uh, this little wood pen here, uh, just so you know, just for some protection. So yeah, I'm going to be building on this peninsula, um, all around hopefully, and I'll be right back once I have all the materials that I need. Okie dokie gamers, I am super happy with 53 uh, fence... Um, yeah. Yeah, fence foundation and twenty and twenty. Uh, what's it called? Um, what's the name of it? Walls. So hopefully this will be enough. To, you know, just just to get started. 
Uh, of course, I'm going to be needing a lot more walls than just 20. But for now, I think 20 might just be enough. Um, now, I'm just going to think quickly. So, go straight. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep going completely straight for now. Uh, and then I'll, I'll figure out really what to do. Uh, so, let's just keep going straight. Back there. One more. Nope. That was a bad. I uh, did a bad. Demolish this. Okay. One there. Actually, now I think about it, should I keep going straight? Because what will happen if I keep going straight is that I'll have such a huge open area here at the back. Um, I want to keep that there for now. And let's just run over here. Can I demolish this? What's the question? Is can I demolish this? Okay, I can demolish. Oh, and I get oil as well. Wait, I think I need a pickaxe for for to get more oil. Yeah, look at all that oil going up. I didn't know you could get oil. It's nice. Okay, I do not need that many stone. Drop all of this. Okay, I also have a lot of oil, so I might need to drop that off at the base or something. Right. So now I know for a fact that I'm just gonna keep. Why do I do keep making such stupid mistakes? Okay, here we go. Just keep going straight. Like so. There we go. Right, and now that we're at the water, water, um, see if I can turn slightly. Like, about this. I think that should be enough, right? I think so. I'm not sure. Right now we need to turn again. I know that there's another. There's a lot of silico pearls around, so uh, I might. I I do, I do farm. You can say the silica pearls, uh, since you know since they're right next to my base. Uh, I, I I just farm them. God, I keep doing so many stupid mistakes. The lag. The lags are real. Right. I, I, I a few years ago when I uh, when I was gaming with um, actually with the real with the real broke we, we've been friends for quite some time. Um, uh, we I used to say that the lag kills and it does. The lag does kill. I mean, especially in Counter Strike or or any first person shooter PVP, lag does kill because it just screws you up so bad. No one likes lag. I should probably get a better internet source, but you know, that's a bit hard when you live with 22 other students. Do you know what? Let's see if I care. I mean, I, I, I get this job's done, so that works. So it's going quite well, I mean, just took, took a nice shit right now, which is nice. Get that, uh, get that out of my system. It's bad to hold in your shit, you know. Don't know what I'm saying right now. Silly bitch sometimes. Right. Right there. Right, we are running out of uh, found, uh, fence foundations, that's for sure. How far have we gone? Ooh, we are going to be needing a lot more fence foundations. Do I, should I actually build it bigger, though? I mean, what am I going to have? One trike, one... I'm, 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 I'm having my base one of each. That's my objective, is to have one dino of each type. That's that's my goal. Okay, so do you know what I'm going to start doing now? I'm going to start heading inland a bit. Now, I'm also going to be making um, like a water um, water post. So I can... Um, a... Well, I, I don't know how you how would you explain it. Um, a, dino, a water dino pen. There we go. That's what I want to say. Um... Just then, this way, I'm able to, um, to you know, uh, what's it called? Have ha start getting some water, water dinos because I've never actually done anything with water dinos. The only thing I really have had is an Ichiosaurus, which is um, like the, that dolphin thing. That's really the only dinosaur that I've really water dinosaur that is that I've really had. Right. So how far is this? Oh my god, the lags. Okay. So I might do. If I follow here, 
So it's about until here. So start the start this to start going like this. Okay. Seven seven. Okay, here we go. Good. It's been a long time actually since I did a solo episode. I mean, I've been doing a lot of multiplier, uh, mul uh, multiplier, uh, multiplayer episodes, um, because you know it's it's so much more entertaining way really, to do multi. Uh, why do I keep saying multiplier? Um, yeah, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, it's 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 much more interesting that way because you know it's a bit boring doing it alone. Right, I'm gonna finish this up, gamers, and I'll be right back. Okay, gamers. We are back. Now, I've I've decided, I've concluded, actually that's more of a professional word you could say, that I'm just going to do the tip of this peninsula. Um, this way it's, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it looks uniform or anything, but it just looks, it's just less wood uh, on me. Uh, so then it's a lot easier for me to, you know, fill, fill this all in. Now, now we've now we got the little bit of a tricky part here, though. Um, we need to connect these two. These 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 will not connect, by the way, uh, on their on their own. So you have to uh, judge by eye. Um, it's getting dark. I, I was able to do this absolutely uh, all out of all in one day, which is very very nice. So now that we have the entire place set up, let's just go around. Placing some walls. Now this is facing the wrong way. Can I flip it? No, I don't think I can flip it. Shoot. Oh, there's a Dodicarus there. Right. I'm gonna have to go get rid of this Dodicarus. Because there's, there's always a Dodicarus or something that c that comes around my base, right? And then ex expects that uh, that <laughs> that that it's that will survive. Then this Dodicarus. I mean, I, I, I probably just. It might be actually the same one. If it's the same one, that'll be quite annoyed. And practically, my guys just constantly shoot at this guy, this Dodicarus. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick it up and just take it away. You know, I'm probably gonna drop it off somewhere in the snow biome or somewhere. Because if it, if it is the same one, because it might be, because I dropped the Do Dodicarus somewhere around here a few days ago. Um, I was a T Rex here as well. Hmm. Let's just drop it off here. So I, I kind of want to get some EXP now uh, from killing this Carno and this T-Rex. Now, my, my bird, as you can see, is extremely strong. Look at that. Look at that. Dead already. Level 4. Boom. So, I mean, like, my Quetzal is, is, is quite a strong Quetzal. Um, but, you know, every little ounce of EXP is greatly appreciated. Since I kind of want to get this guy to be an absolute... Hank by the end. I mean, he's, he's got quite a, quite a lot of health already, and his main damage is just quite high as well. Uh, here, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you his stats now. Um, I'll just kill this guy. Okay, so his stats are 2,000 health, uh, nearly 1,000 stamina, 1,000 stamina, um, his food and oxygen don't really matter, uh, 1,300 1, weight, and 8 hundred percent melee damage and 137 movement speed so this guy is my go-to protection like if all if everything fails the th the thing i have left what the hell happened over here look at this carnage do these stegos really do all this stuff holy shit all right all right, let's just get rid of this uh, scorpion. Jesus, this carnage. It's like a goddamn like war zone or something went down. Okay, here we go. So I, I cleared everything. Um, so if anything fails, and these um, uh, species X plants just do not take out, like uh, like for example, if two rex two if two T Rexes come charging through, um, which has happened before, um, occasionally my uh, my species X plants cannot take them out. So I'll, I'll show you actually an aerial view of what this place looks like. So this is this is the shape. 
um, this uh, this straight part right here, um, you can't. I'm, I'm putting it on my screen, but like that straight part, more or less, where the can where the corner is. I'm going to be putting a gateway there, um, a stone gateway. Uh, this way, you know, I'm able to get in, and then probably that small straight part there. I want to connect that with walls or something to the end of there. Maybe, not sure. And then, of course, I'm going to have my water. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I didn't even notice that. Uh, and then I'm going to probably have my water thing, my, my, my water pen, just uh, just over there. So I believe this guy is leveled up during this. Have you leveled up? Ooh, you are very close to Mr. the level, sir. Yes, he is. Right. So you do have food on, him, on you, which is nice. All right, now let's go place these walls. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll have at least one layer done by the end of today uh, this way you know which is nice okay first mistakes ah you see this is this is what I do not like uh, I don't like this uh, looks like I'm gonna have to suck it up and deal with it Th this is a problem that they, that they that I would like them to change the devs um, because it's like outside and there's no way of rotating them like if you you, you cannot scroll uh, arrow keys don't do anything they just move your camera around yeah I'm, I'm just gonna have to suck it up I guess uh, I don't like it oh I cannot place you I cannot place one here well, that sucks so a lot of error has gone into making this um, which is not very nice since I love precision. Let's see if that's you know a little bit better. Nope. So it looks like I'm gonna have to place one on the outside of all this. Luckily I have some extra ones in my inventory. So it looks like I'm gonna have to place one as close as I can like this. <laughs> Okay, that there, that 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 should, perfect. Oh my God, ah, I don't like it. Oh my God, I'm probably gonna have to redo this entire thing one day, just to have this all perfect. I'm not sure, but I probably will be doing that one day. I am cold for some reason though, which is weird since I've got fur armor. I've got full fur armor, by the way, if you're wondering. So I'm a bit confused why. Um, why I'm cold. Right, I am running out of walls though, so once I finish, I might just make the stone gateway just so I know where it, where it is. And now it flips back. Oh god, I don't like this. No, 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 no. Oh my god, OCD. The OCD is killing me. Yeah, no one likes OCD. Right. There we go. Approaching at the end. Of my stone, of my uh, wood, I mean. Right. Let's see what I can make. Let me make, make one more. So, so that's it, that's it. That's all the stone. I'm going to retire the tower less and less. How it's going to look. Let's see what I can get. Let's see what I can get. I do four. four. Um, um, plus, plus, way, way, way. I think it's, it's going to be really nice. nice. I mean, I mean. I'm, I'm probably going to have a course, course uh, layer, uh, layer around, around uh, with uh, some pieces of plants. Uh, but uh, for now, now, it kind of looks, looks quite nice. nice. I mean, I'm going to have to kind of get used to it. To it. Uh, but uh, for now, it looks quite nice. So let's see what I need. Actually, I'm just going to fly the class over here. Right. I got torpedoes. And I call them torpedoes. Because Ichiathorus has like a lift. Um, so, yeah, call them torpedoes. Deal with it. Right. Now, let's see what I need to make myself a stone gateway. Yes, yes, I know. I've got a lot of trank darts in here. But there's a reason for that. And you're going to have to find out soon. Right. I don't know why I decided to make them now. So, what do I need? Structures stone okay so i'm gonna be needing 450 plus 450 of each thing so 450 times two is come on guys what's 450 times two 
Um, 900. So 900 stone, 900 wood, and 900 thatch. Uh, uh, stone is probably the only thing I'm a little bit worried about. I've got nothing to gather stone with. Um, even though I do have a Quetzal, which can completely annihilate everybody and can carry a shit ton of everything. Um, I'm still a bit worried. So I'm just going to drop this so it's a little bit easier to count. So, um, let's just, uh, let's just see, and I'll be right back with all the materials. Alrighty, gamers, we are back. Now, I'm about to do the last run with the stone, and then we have every material that we need to make ourselves this stone gateway. Now, it's bigger than this one here. This is just a normal stone way gateway. We're talking about the 7 by 14 gateway. I think it's 14 tall. I'm not sure. Um, but it's a hugest one. It's the same one that Drake has on his base. Um, and it can fit every dino except the Giga, I think. But I don't think we're going to be getting a Giga quite soon. So here we go. Structures, uh, not defense, stone. And let's get one of these and one of these. Now, the ironic thing about this, wait, let me just turn down my gamma so it's not as bright as it, as, it is, as it is. The ironic thing about this is that if you look at the weights, this only weighs 4 kilos or pounds. Both of them in total only weigh 8. And we just got a shit ton of materials and it only weighs 8. That is confusing as fuck, I'm telling you now. I mean, I spent a l I actually didn't spend that much. I mean, probably less than five minutes to get all the materials. We do have turned up rates on this server, hence the reason why that. So I'm gonna pr just destroy this um, this stone here because I feel like that this might get in the way while we place this uh, huge ass gate. Now, this of course is not as big as the Behemoth Gateway. The Behemoth Gateway is, as in the name, Behemoth. This is just the Behemoth Stone Gateway. Uh, not the metal version because the metal version just a it takes way too much me uh, uh, Resources and it just right now. There's just no point. So let's just go into cave view here Right, I mean it snapped on point exactly where I wanted it So uh, I guess that didn't take that much measuring and let's add this in Wow, what a beauty. I mean I've crafted these before but every time I craft them. I'm just left like Without breath. I just love crafting these here um, in my old server, actually, in season one, the end of season one, I just, one day, I just decided, hey, since we got the gathering rates up so high, I should just make as many as I can, and I ended up making, like, 15 of these or something, some crazy amount. We only ended up using, like, one or two, but still, crazy, uh, and I, I, I just love these, so... I'm going to be finishing this up, and probably by next episode, gamers, you will see this finished. So I'm just going to clear away these rocks just so that you can more or less guess the perspective of this, and then I'm going to wrap up the video. So I'll see you, gamers, once all these rocks and trees are cleared away. Righty, yo, gamers, we are approaching the end of this absolute destruction, you could say, uh, spree. Now, as you can see on the ground, all of these are of all the things I've dropped because I don't need them now I'm thinking about keeping these two stones in the center because I might actually do with something with them later on uh, I might like have like a little tower or something for birds or uh, Argentavises or things like that now this is more or less the vastity of this I might actually just keep this one but I'm not sure let's just get on the Quetzal very quickly and I'm just gonna fly above it and then you can see the absolute size of this now this Compared to what, like, you can probably fit about 10 Quetzals. Probably a lot more than 10 Quetzals, but you can fit quite a few Quetzals inside this huge pen that I'm going to be building. Now, this is, will be extremely useful one, once I get every dino in the game, because my objective is to get every dino in the game. Um, and then that, and I'll more or less call it an end game, you could say, get every dossier. So, yeah, you could probably fit actually a lot more than 10 Quetzals. I'm guessing about 20. So, let's just press K here zoom all the way out and you can see the size look I can't even zoom all the way out to see it so I might just keep the center the big rock there 
uh, in, but yeah, so I'm gonna wrap the video here gamers I hope you enjoyed this solo video of me starting to build my dino pen If you want to see more solo videos like this or if you want to see more arc survival videos Don't forget to subscribe like and comment what you liked about this video and what game I should be playing for my next indie game video So I hope you gamers enjoyed and on behalf of gaming involved have a I hope you gamers had a great Christmas and holiday, and Hanukkah, whatever, and I'll see you in the very next video. Goodbye, and don't forget gamers, to keep on gaming.